Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 15 and 16 of Love, Gina Boyle, and Other Illusions. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 15 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Which is fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay. Oh God, poor Sonny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Human in that pose, I can't. I feel like human try to look sexy with a fellow. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should probably tomorrow I need to download the movie so I can see how long the movie is and I can cut it down in parts. Because I don't want to wait until the last minute because then that takes way too long to do. And I'm going to need like, what, a week or two just to record the movie, maybe? Maybe the pink hair girl will make an appearance today. Yes, you puppy! He just cleaning. Thanks a lot for if you take turns. So cute. Ah. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know, she might be just as good as a cook as Mari from Love Life Sunshine. Mm hmm. The lies you tell, girl. <laughs> yeah, how much was it?
This girl, oh my god. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. Are you serious? Like, what if you needed something important? Like, I mean, mm, food, water, toiletries, pads. Oh, oh my. Okay, Ronka. <laughs> I can't. Oh. There is no Dekano <laughs> There's no Dekamari on it. From the candy aisle? Oh, Jello. I will say, like, the girl who was on the Jello package, she looked like Ichigo from my Katsu. That could have been, like, the toy aisle or something. Right. You would just think that they were really close friends. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, damn. Mm -hmm. She could be saying the truth. Oh. <laughs> Poor Cameron. Then why haven't you guys done like anything about you? Like how I'm still waiting for y'all to kiss. Like pinkies kissing, touching, that does not count. That almost kiss kinda counts, but not really. It, so you just oh, oh my god move I mean, hey, at least y'all ain't like, um, the couple from boarding school, Juliet. <laughs> it took them all, like, almost a whole season to get together. <laughs> and hold him and it's like that. But it was cute, though.
Okay. Oh my god, not right there. No, don't bark at me, Cody. No. Come on. Good boy. How far are you guys traveling, though? Sir, are you comfortable? Because you got in a little ball and everything, and you were just like... Mm. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> my heart, I can't. I'm dying. Look at him. <laughs> I'm so cute. I feel like they're about to get wet. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that's a dolphin. Woo! 
guy. Oh my! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, no, this is my left. This is my right. <laughs> Thank God, please. <laughs> that door. This was the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. Mm, you're right about that though. Mm -hmm. That's what most girls want. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm crying, oh my god, it's just so precious. Uh. Oh no! I'm so weird. Of 
you know, that troublesome person could be the pink haired girl. Mm-hmm. Told you. Are you going to tell me the pink haired girl is going to fall in love with Rika? We're, we're literally mimicking episode one right now. <laughs> it has to be that. I mean, in the end, it's going to be Rika. It's just going to be gay for this girl. <laughs> Whoever she is, because I have a lot of questions about her. I mean, what's your name? What? Well, we don't really need to know why you moved here, but I mean, yeah, that's an interesting question. But like, mm, what is your purpose in life, girl? I mean, mm, still, we need to know because I feel like if it isn't going to be a romantic relationship between Rika and this girl, it's going to be maybe just a rival-ish relationship, because I feel like she's going to fall in love with Yuta as well, because, I mean, come on, it's Yuta. Hello, do you know who he's voiced by? <laughs> I mean, come on, it's so obvious, because, I mean, mm, it's just, we're going, and I wouldn't say we're going the harem route, because it's not really, because Cumin's not in love with them, Sonny is not in love with them, Shink is not in love with them, it's just Reika, and so if this other girl does fall in love with them, then I'll be like, oh, okay, mm-hmm, obvious, of course, but the date, the date was so cute, like, oh my god, like, it just makes you want to go on a date to an aquarium with a guy, I'm just saying. Or some of you who are attracted to the same sex, a girl or a guy, it would be so so cute. Like, oh my god. I mean, mm, between this and then the monogatity dates that they have. Oh my god, like the monogatity dates. <laughs> I can't let myself. Like, the dates in monogatity were, like, top tier. Like, oh my god. And I was just like, yes, like, if I ever go on a date with somebody, that is what I want to do. Like, mm. But, and then... Every single time when I watch, like, aquarium dates, I just think they're so sweet and adorable. And it's just, like, going somewhere else instead of doing, like, what, a traditional day where it's, like, let's just go to dinners and a movie and so much like that. You get to do something else. Let's go see some animals or whatever. Here in Florida, we just got a zoo. Mm-hmm. And the zoo was on, like, over on the side where I used to live at. And mm, is it worth it? I haven't been to the zoo since I was... In like third grade, second, third grade, before we had that really, really bad hurricane when I was in like second, third grade before we moved. Um, yeah, and I barely really remember that ish. Because that's like, that's because I haven't been to the zoo in a long fucking time here. And I can't really tell you what the experience was like because I don't remember. But I mean, hey, if somebody was like, hey, let's go to the zoo on a date, I would be fine with it. I mean, whether it's an aquarium or like a museum, I I can't really imagine going on a date to a museum before. But I think somebody would want to really like to go and do that or, you know, typical in a music park, a movie, um, a theme park. Like, here we have, not only we have Disney and stuff, because, I mean, we're, like, I'm, like, two, three hours away from Orlando. Um, I'm trying to think what else. You can go shopping, whatever. I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want on a date. It's whatever you want to do. Or you can just hear what some people kind of like to do, is just go to the beach and sit and talk, or just go to the park and sit and talk. I mean, there's just something where you guys can just... Mm. And just the relationship that these two have with each other, that they can really, truly still, Rega can just be herself. I love that about her. And I mean, you don't have someone like, well, because it was like that more really in the first half of the show, um, pressuring her to be something, to be herself, or well, something she's not. And then she truly still gets to be herself, whether it's just, you know, hey, here's her eighth grade syndrome, but she's still, you know, at the end of the day, her still, you know, wacky goofy little self that you have to love. I mean, she's precious cinnamon roll, baby. Like, you have to protect her no matter what. I'm just saying. I know I would because she's just so freaking adorable. And her VA is, like, one of my top five favorite VAs. So, I mean, come on now. I'm just saying. She's just too cute. But yeah, the the pink hair girl. We just need to know what is her name? 
what is her purpose and it's like that but i'm guessing we're not gonna know until the next episode but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 15 okay episode 16 not 15 in three two one go Oh, of course. <laughs> oh my god. What? Are you okay? She comes. SOS. Well, you know, at least she didn't um step on his dick. <laughs> because if she did, oh poor baby. Couldn't probably have kids. I dropped my <laughs> and I've got it. Cumin. Best girl. Oh, cumin. I went to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. My thing is, how the hell did you get up there when he was sleeping? But hey, it's fine. You had a sex dream and you liked it. Are we talking about the girl with the pink hair? Yeah, I mean, Toka could come back whenever the fuck she wants to. <laughs> Aww. 
this show, I can't. I love it so much. <laughs> Oh, did you hear that laugh? That was a Ronco laugh. I literally, oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for letting her laugh because I have missed that laugh. <laughs> because I haven't watched Idol Master Cinderella Girls in forever, so you don't really get to hear that laugh in most anime that she's in. Yeah, it, it might not fit well. True, at, at the time, I'm guessing by the time this anime came out, there wasn't really so much examples of male magical girls. Black whale outfit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Move so Shinka can go get her damn phone. The girl with the pink hair. Mm. That is Ronco in a nutshell. <laughs> Yeah, had to be after his neighbor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want some help? Also, you like. <laughs> she like my best girl. <laughs> She's like, um, Shamiko. <laughs> it's the version Shamiko and Momo. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I have to rewatch that show because that show is so good. <laughs>
This is what Magical Girl Rising Project should have looked like. Even with, you know, the death game. Figures you two know each other. Ain't that funny? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll get in trouble. Of course. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Major day or not. I mean, it's obvious. You mean, oh my god. Excuse me.
Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, it could be suspicious because we we really don't know that much. Like little crumbs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Somebody's jelly. Oh, okay. Nose. <laughs> Eskimo kiss. <laughs> but somebody's really jelly. Yeah, plus, you know, he has a girlfriend and
Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't be telling. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's just a little Eskimo kiss. That was so fucking cute. Oh my god. Stop it, please. I can't. My heart like, hurts so freaking much right now. Like, oh my god, why would you do this to me? Jesus Christ. I mean, okay. With Sophia doing it to him, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, mm. But just the. Because they need it. Yes. Stop. Like, I can't. My heart right now. Like, mm -hmm. I am dying. Rip. <laughs> like, I can't. She's interesting, though. I, her voice kind of feels somewhat familiar to me, specifically her laugh. I feel like I've heard it in another character before. So probably before I watch Working, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and look up the VA for this show and who she is and why she sounds so familiar to me. But still, thank you for letting her get the freaking laugh because mm, that Ronco laugh is the best freaking thing. Like, I know a lot of people aren't really into idols and stuff like that, but her as Ronco, oh my god. Mm. It's no wonder why she is literally one of the top favorite characters in Idol Master Cinderella Girls. And she's personally, she's not my number one fan. She's like in my top five, but still, mm, mm, just saying. But this is such a cute little episode. I mean, finally we get to see this girl because I was expecting her to at least come last week instead of this week. And maybe these two episodes would have been us learning a little bit more about her. I feel like I kind of, she's still a little mysterious. Um, it's almost like with every, you know, friend of some of the main character, you know, from their backstory, you know, it's like that. You feel like you kind of know them, but you don't know them well enough as you know the main character, Yuka, Yuta, Rinka, Kumin, Shinka, Sane. Like, we, they are, they're all well-developed characters. And because she is finally making her appearance in this first episode, you know, Everything went a little too fast on her, but I feel like these next episodes coming up, it's going, we're going to see more moments with her. And I think yeah, I'm probably going to fall for her more and more because she's so cute and adorable. And I like her. Like I said, she, her, like seeing both her and Rinka together and in their little so <laughs> moment, um, it does give me feels too freaking, uh, <laughs> Shamiko and Momo from oh my god I don't remember the name of the series and I loved it so much and it's by the people who did like um freaking a whole bunch of other mangas that have animes that one is coming out next month and not next month in October that I'm super duper excited for but like yeah honestly these two really give me those like Shamiko and Momo feel and it's just like mm. If Shamiko and Momo came out, like, way, way. I mean, these two walked so Shamiko and Momo could freaking run. Because, oh my god. Because <laughs> uh, that show, that, that show was, like, freaking top tier. Let me see if I can find the name of it real quick. Because I, I have it. Mm. And I did react to it. Let me look at my freaking, um, playlist. And it's going to come out and I'm be like, oh my god, that's it. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, not Graham Bellum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nope, nope. Okay. Oh, here we go. Freaking, um, the demon girl next door. There we go. Demon girl next door. Took me a whole minute to figure out what it was. But yeah, like, honestly, they do remind me of those two characters from the demon girl next door. And if you have not seen the demon girl next door, please give it a watch. It is so freaking good. You will love it. It is like literally one of the funniest magical girl animes that I have ever seen. I mean, besides the the one magical girl anime that I haven't seen that was really more comedy, where it was like if it was if a magical any type of magical girl anime um was in a relationship with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and then they have sex, that's their kid. That anime. I cannot I don't remember it's magical girl something. 
I don't remember that name, but I've never seen it. I may watch it on my own because a lot of people were like, oh my god, like this is just so freaking good. And I remember a lot of people around the time when it was out, um, for whatever season, really wanted me to watch it. But I was too busy at the time with other shows. But yeah, other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 15 and 16 of Love, Chino Boyo, and Other Illusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for videos for episodes 17 and 18. Bye, guys.